I'm in the press box. The inactives were just announced, and the interesting ones are on the Seahawks side. Geno Smith is inactive because he's terrified of the 49ers. I don't know. He's probably hurt. Got a groin injury or something, but let's be honest. And Kenneth Walker, their starting running back, is active. So that's good news for the Seahawks. He's a really good player. But the Niners can sell out to stop the run because Geno Smith is gone. And um, Drew Locke is the quarterback. And frankly, Drew Locke isn't good at all. But let's come back to Geno Smith. Maybe this isn't so bad for the Seahawks because it seems like every time he plays the Niners, he gets worse and more intimidated. At first, it seemed like he was precocious and optimistic about what he might accomplish considering Russell Wilson beat him all the time. But no, he realized he's not that guy. He's not that good. And he's not going to beat the Niners. And the last time he faced him two weeks ago, he just kind of looked like a deer in the headlights standing there watching the rush, taking six sacks. So could Drew Locke be worse? Maybe. But maybe not. Hard to say. So Geno Smith looked like one of those boxers. You know, like early Tyson, early Mike Tyson. You see those highlights and he's like 19. And the guy is 30, and, uh, you know, across the ring in, in, the other, in the other corner, blue corner, red corner. And he knows he's going to get knocked out in about 90 seconds. And you can see it all over his face. That's Geno. One of those guys who's about to get knocked out by young Mike Tyson. So he's out. Drew locks in. And maybe that's good for the Seahawks, but still, they're going to lose big. I'm thinking 31 to 10, 49ers who are warming up right behind me. 31 to 10, Drew Locke. Good luck.